September 10th is a day of remembrance for the Mongolian victims of political repression, an estimated 36,000 people, according to the State Commission on Rehabilitation. 32,000 victims of political repression have been rehabilitated. Two years ago, a memorial was dedicated to the victims of political repression, including 250 prominent public figures. On the day of their remembrance, the descendants of those repressed have a tradition of honoring their memory by laying flowers at the memorial. My grandfather was Prime Minister of Mongolia, Amar Akdambu. We will never forget those who were repressed. I hope such an event won't be repeated. That's all I want. My great-grandfather was Sam Dan Zhao. In 1933, he was arrested at the age of 42. He was the director of the Dornot Cooperative. He was rehabilitated in the 1970s. In memory of the 250 public figures who were unjustly repressed, arrested, and executed by the Soviet court, in the former Russian Soviet Federated Socialist Republic. We observe September 10th with the tradition of paying our respects. This marks the third year we've honored their memory in this way. The Great Repression was 18 months of heightened political violence and persecution in the Mongolian People's Republic between 1937 and 1939. The repressions were an extension of the Stalinist purge, also known as the Great Purge, unfolding across the Soviet Union around the same time. Estimates differ, but anywhere between 20,000 and 35,000 so-called enemies of the revolution were executed, a figure representing 3 to 5 percent of Mongolia's population at the time. Victims included Buddhist clergy, aristocrats, intelligentsia, political dissidents, and ethnic buryats.